Hello and welcome back to SF a Giants recap and the Giants. We won uh, eight to six versus the Phillies in ten innings today. Very very stressful game and a very unsurprising game as well. So that's what we're gonna go over in today's video. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying. But Wilmer Flores, he's a beast. He got started off today with a homer, then a single. Then the new addition, Paul DeYoung, he homered to make it 4-0 for us. But then the, uh, the Phillies, they chipped back at us, making it 4-2. And then Slater, he doubled to make it 5-2. But then Camille Duvall, he has another meltdown and gives up a three-run homer to Bryce Harper in the ninth. Uh, Kapler doesn't learn. Camille Duvall doesn't learn. No one learns on this team. We make the same mistakes over and over again, and no one ever learns. But thankfully, Paul DeYoung in the 10th, he got a two-run single. Then uh, Tyro Strada and Wade Meckler, they came in clutch with a clutch, clutch, clutch uh, sack fly with Wade Meckler hustling in. Ended up being a double play, but since he scored before they got the double play, it counted as the run. So good to see there. But the Giants... Their pitching staff was very interesting today. Cobb went five innings, allowed two runs. He pitched pretty good, pretty solid outing. Scott Alexander, he went two-thirds of an inning. Uh, Luke Jackson, he got one out, and it was a solid outing there. Alex Wood, he also got one out after walking two. Uh, Kapler did a good job of limiting the pitchers when you could tell they're kind of struggling. So good to see from Kapler. He's learning and doing better there. Hopefully this continues and it's not just a one-time thing of him actually making good choices. Uh, Tyler Rogers, he pitched two-thirds of an inning. And then Tristan Beck, he went a solid inning, striking out the side. Tristan Beck is an absolute beast. Uh, Camille Duvall, that's where the meltdown happened, the three-run homer. Uh, Jacob Junis, he came in, he pitched a full inning after Camille Duvall had the meltdown. He got a strikeout. He did really well. Uh, the defense did amazing behind Junis as well with Meckler and uh, Austin Slater making great catches. And then Taylor Rogers, he came in, got two outs, and got two strikeouts. And then Ryan Walker, he got the save. Uh, that is 10 pitchers right there. 10 pitchers in one game. Uh, good to see from us getting the job done, but we could have asked for a little bit better outing. We were 3 for 10 today with runners in scoring position, only had 8 strikeouts. I feel like that's the main reason we won. We usually have 12 strikeouts, and we're usually 1 for 10. That's the biggest difference right there. If we can keep doing better when it comes to those simple things right there, this is a winning team. We just have to keep making those changes. It can't just be one game, and then we go back to being terrible. It's the runners in scoring position, and it's the strikeouts that have killed us. And today, obviously, we did better, and look what happened. We won. Uh, look what happens when stuff changes and you do things different in a good way. We win. Uh, those things are pretty simple, but yet we never seem to catch on. Uh, Michael Conforto, he had two hits. Same as Slater, Meckler, DeYoung had three hits. Flores had two, and Estrada had two hits. Those are the guys that kind of carried your offense today. But the Giants, they have to keep this going. You, We have a day off tomorrow, but we cannot just give up. We have to, have to, have to keep putting the pressure on. If we have to win six series in a row, we have to keep doing being a bad team to a mediocre team to then being a good team. Those are the uh, strategies, and the only way we're going to make it into the postseason is if we can gradually but surely make it to being a good team. So that will do it for today's recap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for a new SF Giant Recap video.